NFL 24. And coming up, we'll see Justin Jefferson. Always staying busy, he's your league leader in receiving yards. It's the Patriots and the Chiefs under the lights on Monday night. It is a chilly night here in the northeastern U.S., but we've got some football to keep us warm at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. Tonight, we put a ball on Week 15 with a great Monday night matchup. As it will be the defending Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs, taking on the New England Patriots. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. The kicking unit out for the Patriots as they send this one away. And no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. So here are the Chiefs now coming out for their opening drive. And leading them out, a man who has led his team to the conference championship game the last two seasons, winning it two years ago. Here's Joe Burrow. And he's had such a sensational season to this point, leading the NFL in passing yards. He's been helped out a lot by an outstanding set of receivers, and he's quick to give them credit. But I think even they would tell you that he's the guy that makes his offense go. And not the start he was hoping for there, as he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Call it no gain on the game's first play, and it's second down now. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. This one complete to Jerry Judy. And they work this well up field across the 45. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. Now Burrow on first down. And a dump off here to Robinson. And he is going to lose yardage here. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. A big play there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Chiefs put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Boy, Charles, this offense is just so explosive. They lead the league in scoring. And another example of just how good they are right there on that play. Yeah, we often overstate about how explosive teams are, but this team is truly a threat to score on every snap, especially on the first few plays of any series. And a big strike like that, that only adds to their reputation as the league's best offense. Extra point up and good by Folk, and that makes the score 7-0. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. Here's Darius Davis on the return. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. So now here come the Patriots to take over on offense. Bringing them out, a guy who's top 30 all-time in yards and touchdowns. Not bad for a fourth-round pick back in 2012. Captain Kirk, Kirk Cousins. Not bad for a fourth-round draft pick. Well over 100 career starts now. And the chemistry with his top targets really on point. They spend a lot of time in practice and after practice making sure the routes are run well and he knows exactly where they're going to be on the field and when they get open, he delivers. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Cousins to throw it. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. Now he's loose down the left sideline. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he gets all the way down inside the 20-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. 46 yards. First carry for Nick Chubb. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Five 
yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Ball at the 14 for second and five. Throwing Cousins. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. How about that red man coverage and decided to test them early. But they've proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Throwing his cousins. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And the Patriots are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They'll run with Chubb. And he'll be stopped about a yard shy of the goal line after a pickup of about three. You know, when this offense gets down here near the end zone, they're going to turn to their bell cow, and this guy's been a touchdown machine all year. Excellent job stopping him there on first down. Touchdown! Justin Jefferson from a yard out, and the Patriots are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. But Charles, here in their opening series, they said they had certain plays scripted for certain players. That looked like a well-designed play to get one of their top targets involved. Yeah, let's face it, Brandon. A player of his talent is a problem for any opponent to defend, and we saw it right there. They tried to deny an open lane to him. He still outplayed the coverage and scored the early touchdown. Good luck trying to figure out how to defend him as this game moves on. Extra point by Butker is on target, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And this will be a touchback. Berrios deciding not to bring it out. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. And there, of course, was a lot of talk about this ball game coming into play. Two division leaders in the AFC. Could this be a potential playoff preview down the line? Yeah, I think when you talk about the talk about this game coming into play, you're talking about me because I blew up your phone all week prior to this one. I'm so excited about this game because, to me, it's not out of the realm of possibility that these two teams see each other again down the road. I like this matchup. They match up very well against each other. And he'll be knocked to the turf right there as he gets it up to the 43. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. And he'll get it here on the touch pass. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Robinson, he'll try the left side. Down inside the 40. A check in on the numbers last week for Robinson. 14 carries, 59 yards, and a touchdown. As always, priority number one for them is to secure the win this week. But priority number two, this guy right now, who is sixth in the league in rushing. I'm wondering. They want to give him that push to get him into the top five and really earn their status of being one of the best ground games in the NFL, as well as him being one of the lead backs, too. He's got his man. That's ever at the tight end. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the 5. Now we're going to get a timeout here called by the Patriots. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. They'll run with Robinson. And that'll move him a little closer as he takes it from the 7 down to the 4-yard line. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there. But that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. And a turn of power game to try to get in. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. Well, that's all about doing the dirty work right there defensively. Second and short yardage, that's all about plugging those gaps, not giving the running back a crease to run through. And that's a nice job to hold him just a couple. And he is in. Touchdown. Kansas City, Alec Ingold with his fourth rushing touchdown of the year. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. Well, if at first you don't succeed, try again. They go to the big man, second time he gets it done. Almost as if they were feeling like he was establishing a rhythm. 
give it to him again and again. And how about the end result? Finishes it off in the end zone. Touchdown. Great run and the score. Now Fulton for the extra point. It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. So that one, an eight-play drive. It spans 75 yards, and it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. From his end zone, here's Darius Davis. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The pads at the line ready to go. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, you've almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. Through one quarter, 14-7 our score. Start of the second quarter from Foxborough. It's the homestanding Patriots with the football. Here is third and five. As they've got it as we resume action. Here's Cousins. That is caught. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 18 yards the gain for number 18. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open just a little underneath round, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. First down, here's Cousins. He'll get this one to Cop complete. His second catch, this one not quite as dynamic as his first, and it's second down. Cousins. So just three yards on the completion there. And that's going to bring up third and two. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have the Patriots first down as they get five there on third and two. Up the middle, it's Chubb. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Off the play fake, Cousins. Finds the open target, Arnold. With a gain of five, third and seven now. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. On third down, Cousins. Now that'll be caught by Cup. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job here of limiting that and keeping him from the first down. They stopped him in his tracks. So the drive stays alive after the fourth down conversion. First and ten inside the 30. Cousins now. They'll roll him out right. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Justin Jefferson with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Patriots are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. In the second quarter and already his second touchdown reception. Absolutely the definition of a difference maker here in this first half. Clearly one of his quarterback's favorite targets in this game. And I figure he's going to draw a little more attention and coverage moving forward. Butker now to add the extra point. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. 
So that one a long 11 play drive. And it was all capped off by Justin Jefferson's touchdown reception. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And this will be a touchback. Barrios deciding not to bring it out. KC's offense ready to take over. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now. But this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent offer a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Burrow's throw is taken in by Wilder. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Wide open receiver complete. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. A great effort there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. Full connects on the extra point, and the lead is now 21 14. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And they'll get him down right at the 25 yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. Kirk Cousins now gearing up to lead this offense back out there. The returns on the last drive, pretty good. Seven for seven, touchdown pass. Probably take that, right? I would say so. I mean, when you're cutting them apart that way, feeling so accurate, so confident going downfield, and then able to culminate by putting it in the end zone, oh, yeah, he's doing real good right now. Now he'll try to carry that over to this drive. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. A reminder that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll check in with Jonathan Coachman from Orlando. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half of play. A first down throw for Cousins. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. This one complete to Nicole Hardman. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Cousins on first down. And that nearly intercepted. Oh, the free safety roaming into position almost had it, but it's second down. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Middle of the field to Jefferson. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Now the Patriots moving quickly, hustling up to the line. To the air again, it's Cousins. And that nearly intercepted. Well, for a guy known for his hands defensively, that's a ball he probably thinks he should have come up with. And instead, it's fourth down. Now Cousins. Got an open man finding Jefferson. And he's going to have a first down, and they get into field goal range here at the 29. Now Cousins. Trying to lob it in there, but it's incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play. One that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Throwing again, Cousins on second and ten. And this is going to be hauled in by the tight end, Andrews. And he gets it all the way down inside the ten. And mark him at the five. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And he keeps fighting his way into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Nick Chubb, a five-yard touchdown run. 
And the Patriots are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. Butker on for the PAT. He's got it, and we're all tied at 21. So the drive goes 75 yards, 10 plays. And Nick Chubb, the one to finish it off, as he does so with a touchdown run. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee, and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Chiefs going to go back on offense one final time in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. On a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. Now here's a timeout as they're going to get it with eight seconds remaining here in the first half. And I tell you what, he got it from 58. That had lots of leg behind it. That also a career-long kick for the veteran, Charles. Yeah, how about what he just got done there? We always knew he had a big leg. But how about everything coming together perfectly on that one? Great leg swing and bang that one through. Now Davis fumbles it, and it's picked up by the Chiefs. But they will not be able to capitalize as time has run out here on the first half of play. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando. That's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. We'll begin up at Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte, where you see the final score there. Josh Jacobs, four touchdown runs. From there, we head up to the Motor City, check in on the Lions at home at Ford Field. And they were losers in that one as they fall to the visiting Denver Broncos. Najee Harris, over 100 yards rushing with a touchdown run. Finally, let's get out to Southern Nevada and see what's happening with the Raiders at home in Las Vegas. And they were losers in that one to the visiting LA Chargers. Aaron Jones, what a game. Three touchdown runs in the victory. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams. This is a very level first half, and I'd expect to see more of the same after the break. With both of these offenses having their way, it's not likely they'll need to be doing a whole lot at halftime, but the defenses are definitely in need of some adjusting. And for the call of the second half, let's go back out to Brandon and Charles. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And he's going to take this all the way down inside the 40. Well, that return had all the trappings of really good scouting. You can tell that they thought they saw something on tape that they could take advantage of, and they dialed it up at just the right time to give them a great return. And the Patriots going to take over here to start quarter number three. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now he's getting the ball to start the second half. How about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together, come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. Second down, Cousins. They set up the screen to Chubb. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Given 15 yards on that one, and New England has a first down. Yes, yes. 
to throw. Cousins flush to his right. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. Second and 10. They go up the middle with Chubb. Able to fight for about four yards there to the 13. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Cousins to throw it. Man open, it's cup. He's got it. And he's brought down short by a yard. It's a third down gain of four. Now Cousins on fourth down. Looking for Cooper Cup again, two in a row. And yeah, the Patriots are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. This offense continues to be a hot knife through butter. Three drives, three scores, and knocking on the door again on drive number four. Chubb will get about halfway there as he takes this from the four down to the two. They'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. The lone man in the backfield here is Chubb on second and goal. Cousins to the goal line, but it's incomplete. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Third and goal for Cousins. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. Mark Andrews laying himself out in the end zone. And the Patriots have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Butker now to add the extra point. And that will make this a four-point game. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it's Mark Andrews who finishes things off with a touchdown reception. And this will be a touchback. Barrios deciding not to bring it out. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. Jalen Waddle. Room to maneuver at the 35. He's to the 15. And he's all the way down to the six-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. 64 yards. Here's Burl. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, He's got second and third down to fall back on. Now Burrow to throw on second down. And that is going to be incomplete as he let him a bit too much. Just too much air on the ball. That's a missed opportunity in a game where you don't have many opportunities left. Two incompletions haven't moved him any closer. And likely throwing again, you'd have to think, on third and goal here. Here we go. The quick throw by Burrow is complete. Just two yards, and now it's fourth and goal. But I don't think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, does it? It does, and the defense was right. They're kind of playing into their hands. The folks' kick is good, and that'll bring him back within a point. So the response to that touchdown on the other side to begin the third quarter. Look, just three points, but still a response nonetheless. You're exactly right about that because I think you needed to answer back with something, even though it's not six. 
Just enough to send the message that says, hey, we're not going away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. New England trying to get a place on offense. And they had the touchdown during the last drive, and I'm guessing that you like the balance they had on that last drive. And I loved it. Forget liking it. Absolutely loved what they were doing because to be ahead of the defense that much for every play call you have, run or pass is working pretty well for you. Makes you look like a genius. It really does. It also lets you know that your preparation was pretty good, and now the defense has to do all the adjusting. They will get four yards here on the first down run, and that'll make it second and six. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. That's out to Chubb complete. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Here's third and six. Throwing his cousins. This one brought in by Jefferson. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. He's been big. Two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. Cousins. And he gets it to his running back, Nick Chubb. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. Good call there on first down. And Brandon, I'm getting better over the years. I'm not screaming out, screen, screen, screen with my defensive training. They want to keep those pass rushers honest. And they did so there, and they wind up picking up positive yardage. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. 44 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. Cousins now to throw on first down. Finds the open target, Arnold. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Short completion, just four yards. And that's going to bring up second down. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. Back now in Foxborough. And we've got a dandy here. One point game as we begin the fourth. Now a second and six. They give the chub out of the gun. Pushes him over. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. So that time they got the left guard with a hole. And let's face it, in today's ball, you might have that 330-pound guy you're supposed to clear out of there. You might need a little bit of extra help by grabbing the jersey and trying to ride him out. Here's Cousins. They'll get this one to Cobb complete. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. An eight-play drive to this point. So here's play number nine on third and seven. To throw his Cousins. And he is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Justin Jefferson, his third touchdown of the game, number 14 on the year. And the Patriots will add to their fourth quarter lead. And this is obviously quite a performance. And most of the time when we talk about someone putting a team on their back, I think we're talking about a, a guy who runs the football. In this case, it's a guy out wide catching it, and he's done exactly that truly leading his team right now towards victory. Three touchdown catches. He's been the headliner. Butker on for the PAT. And with that, the lead is up to eight. That time, a nine-play drive. And it was all capped off by Justin Jefferson's touchdown reception. And this will be a touchback. Barrios deciding not to bring it out. So the Chiefs offense heads out. There's a look at the playoff picture in the AFC. As of this moment, as pretty much everyone knows, they sit alone in that top spot. But nothing is guaranteed. They haven't even clinched the playoffs. So a good start, but a long way to go. And you know a blunt veteran inside their locker room, a 
has stood up at one point or another and said, you know that you know all this means nothing so far. We've got to cover this, get it done. What do we want to be? It's like winning a title in August, right? In preseason. Doesn't count. Let's go ahead and get this thing done. And Burrow going to be hit and taken down. They got him. They came with a safety blitz, and Daxton Hill got home. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. Under pressure, and they got to him again. Eric Kendricks in there to get him, and that is now sack number 18 on the season for him. But this is what happens when you get behind the chains, as people like to say, when you have obvious passing situations, hard to vary it up and fool a defense. And you hate those situations if you're an O-lineman, right? Oh, without a doubt, because you just know they're coming, and you never know exactly how. They can be exotic in their blitzes, or their athletic ability just takes over. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Eric Kendricks drops him again for the second straight play, and it brings up fourth down. He's had a sack leader coming into the game, and now that's two more that he's added to his total. He wants some separation from spot one and two in that sack category. Davis now to return it. 43 yards on the punt, seven-yard return, and the Patriots take over. Justin Jefferson and the rest of this offense, they've got their helmets back on, and they're ready for this next series. Previous series, definitely a focal point. Three catches, the touchdown grab. As a DB, your former DB, is there a number of catches on a drive like, oh, he got the best of us? I'm not sure there's a number but there's a great feel. And what he did on the last drive, yeah. <laughs> Especially with a touchdown. Yes. You're never way, happy. You're exactly right. The way he capped it off. So you feel that at the sideline, and now you're looking at your buddies and saying, okay, what are we going to do to take things away from him? Because I'm not sure the other guys can make those sort of plays. So let's make sure that we don't let him get going again. 52 yards rushing for him now to this point. The offense on third down tonight. Six conversions and nine tries. They've done a great job of picking these up. This time they face a third and two. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. A first down throw for Cousins. Complete. Jefferson the target. And he's taken down inside the 30. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. Now Cousins completes it to Hardman. The result only four yards there on the play. And that'll make it second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes. You're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. They go with Chubb on second down. They'll be brought down at the 21 after a pickup of four. The recipe is pretty simple, I think, right? Just you give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. Cousins here going to change the play. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Try to take this home, no run. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And that should do it. He's got a first down. And the Patriots can run it out from here. Have to 
chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to... And he's in! Touchdown, Patriots! Nick Chubb, his second touchdown of the game, giving him 12 on the season. And the Patriots add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. So it's a pretty good season he's putting together running the football. That now 10 rushing touchdowns on the year. And we know this is a passing league, and those numbers throwing the football, they seem to go up and up every year. But there's still something to have a reliable back you can count on in the red zone to bring things home for you. And that's what he's been doing all season long. And this will be a touchback. Barrios deciding not to bring it out. So the Chiefs now down by 15. Less than 90 seconds to go. And they're in danger of a third straight loss as they come up on first and 10. To throw Burrow. Pass complete to Robinson. Fights him off. Room past the 35. And he's out of bounds. Able to take this one up to the 35. Here we go. It's a game of 10. And first down. Jeez. 11, 11. 11, Thomas. Throwing. Burrow. Going to throw right side here. Complete. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Now Burrow. That's going to be caught by Judy. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Burrow. And it's caught. And the Chiefs are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. Burrow. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. And let's face it, this defense has had its share of struggles all game long, and they know that they can put it all behind them if they defend well here in the two-minute drill. Excellent coverage right there to force the incompletion. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Kayvon Thibodeau. And the Pats are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Well, the field goals probably aren't going to cut it at this point. This was touchdown or bust, and unfortunately for them, it turned out to be bust. Yeah, they're feeling like they've got to force the issue here, maybe take some chances they wouldn't have earlier in the game. But give credit to this defense. They've really stood tall throughout, and they come up with the interception in the end zone. in prime time this offense they gave the nation quite a show putting up that many points to come away with what will certainly be a memorable win for them and brandon i think it's as simple as this some players some teams they're just meant for the big stage and when they get a chance to play in this type of atmosphere where all eyes are on them and all the lights are shining brightly they show up and they show out so for New England.